What's up guys and girls? Bulk Brogan back here for some more racing life in Automobilista 2. Thank you so much for tuning into the stream. Thank you so much for your patience. Let's get the show on the road, shall we? We're going to go and seal off the deal in some truck racing today. Um, now, if you are not familiar with what I've been doing recently on the stream in the uh, racing life of Automobilista 2, um, you guys voted for me to do some truck racing last time out, and that actually turned out to be quite a quite a lucrative career mode because we are going to be heading into this today for a championship decider of the European Truck Championship Series with the potential offering of a seat in the World Championship as well so we'll see how that goes today see what happens we had a few shenanigans kangaroos escaping beer fridges exploding um, all sorts of weird happenings that got you know just meant that was slightly delayed in getting here but that is the power of bulk brogan in the motorsport world races aren't scheduled they will wait for him <laughs> sean talonin sticky mr bishy jdf ricardo thank you so much for tuning in streamlabs as well good to see you hopefully mark hallowell you're still awake in the background there paul kirkby good to see you as well sir hope you've uh, pulled yourself off the ceiling after the frx 22 run of the weekend Great to see you all. Thank you so much for being here. Um, let's have a look at Racing Life and Automobilista 2 then. And let's get straight into it. No need for chat today. Oh, actually, actually, no. No, there is some need for chat. <laughs> well, that's not what I was going to say, but that's what I'm going to say now. Thank you so much, Sticky, on your two-year anniversary. That's incredible, mate. That's absolutely incredible. 24 months of Castrol. That's more oil than... I could ever possibly need. <laughs> Thank you, sir. But now, what I wanted to do is bring you to the strat board because we do actually have some strats for today's stream. We want to drive fast. We want to score some good points. We want to earn some mega bucks. We want to keep our sponsor, Arrol, happy. And last but not least, we need to groom the mustache. So that's our strats for today. Hopefully, we can do at least three of those five. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, racing life. So this is what we're here to do today. Continue career. Let's get stuck straight back into it again. Let's have a little bit of a recap because, to be honest with you, it's um, it's been a while. Last week was a little bit busy. I went and hijacked a charity race in Bathurst. My first return to the homeland. Uh, hopefully, uh, Parks Regional Shire Council didn't catch up with me or notice me there. As there will be a bounty on my head now. Hmm. But this is where we're at, because it has been a couple of weeks since I've been racing. So, fame is at 19, experience is at 45, I've almost got $69,000. I'm sure you'll like that one, Sticky. We've got 24 races on the board with 5 poles, 13 podiums and 8 wins. We now have a trophy cabinet, which is... empty. Formula V World Championship could be the first one that we get in the trophy cabinet. I mean, look look at it. It's It, it looks superb. But none of the series that we've done so far qualify for these. You know, they're all low level. The Truck Championship doesn't qualify for this either. The, the, the Super Truck Championship does, and the Formula V World Championship does. But we haven't actually started those series yet. Anyway, we've got a full driver history. I'm not going to bore you with that. If you want to, if you want to see the results, you can either watch the previous streams, or you can have a look and see on this page right now. Just press pause on the stream and then catch up later. Achievements. Uh, we won our first race, we got our first pole position, but then the rest of it, you know, we got to get 15 wins, 30 wins, take part in DTM, get poles, win a Formula 3 trophy, win both Copa, FL and Classic Beast. Uh, there's lots of different achievements. Ricardo has done absolutely fantastic on this. Really, really done a fantastic job, Ricardo. I love your work, mate. But let's have a look at the competition, because this is all well and good having these stats on the screen, but let's see what we're actually up against here. So, Formula V World Championship, we have rounds two and three. Now, that's going to be at Santa Cruz do Sol and Tomas de Rio Hondo. But first and foremost, what we're going to be racing today, I'm not even going to give you, to give you guys the chance of voting, because we're going straight into the European Truck Racing Championship, round four of four. Alton Park, Foster's Layout. Now, I'm going to go and start Automobilista 2 in the background because the championship is pretty tight for this. There is 90,000 on the line, potentially. 
And I think I'm only three points behind the leader, or three points ahead of the leader, or something ridiculous like that. Which, when you consider how this season started, um, I wasn't exactly the quickest person in these trucks, but four rounds doesn't give you much chance to get used to things, but it's it's been up in the air, and it's going to be a fantastic finish. So we're going to go straight into that, and if we do well, we might even just register for the FIA Super Truck Championship, which starts at the same time as the, uh, the European truck series finishes so we could go straight from the Ori series into the world FIA super truck series which as you can see has got a significantly bigger prize pool it does have a bigger registration fee but to be honest with you we've already got the truck we're already paying the lease it'd be stupid not to and the first round is at Alton Park Fosters so the perfect practice for the season opener in the world series is to do a championship finale in the Euro series, so we're going to be doing two back-to-back -back Foster's races at Alton Park today, if, if it goes well. And is there any other races in August? No. So we're going to start out with two truck races, and then we're going to go and catch up on the Formula V World Championship, which I know doesn't fit with the trucking shirt, the hat, the... all of the signage, the thumbnail, but you know... Formula V's, you got, yeah, we've got to do them at some point before we can progress anyway, guys. <laughs> Truck, yeah, Mr. Bishy. Alright, we'll switch it over to Automobilist 2 mode. And let's see exactly what we're dealing with here. So, Copa Trucks, that's where we are at the moment. And like I said, three points in it at the top of the series. So we got Gabriel Robe, we got Felipe Giafone, we've got myself, and we've got... Clodoaldo Montero on 39. So basically, you have seven points separating the top four in the championship. You know, even even fifth place could win the championship if they win the race. And I mean, there's too many connotations. Basically, all we got to do is just just finish as good as we can. But we make sure we do have to finish ahead of Felipe and Gabriel. So remember those names, Felipe and Gabriel. We're going to finish ahead of those guys. Because I'm probably, I'm probably going to forget that very shortly. <laughs> it, it is trucking close indeed, Mr. Bishy. Um, that pun is not going to get old in the slightest today. Love your work. Pinky, good to see you. Sticky, uh, Fosters? Who mentioned Fosters? I don't see any mention of Fosters there. Are you just, are you just, are you just trying to, are you just trying to scare us there, mate? Come on, it's v, VB or bust. Anyway, let's get on with this championship. There's nothing else to discuss, really. I mean, I suppose I should show you my sponsor in Racing Life as well. I alluded to that earlier. For those who are still catching up on the last two weeks of action, uh, no loans from the bank outstanding. We are good. Arrow is our sponsor. We got four races left. They pay us $825 a race. If we finish in the top 10, then... Well, we get an extra 1875 and considering there are only 12 runners in this truck championship, it's pretty much guaranteed. Although, no, I said that. It's still very possible to finish in 11th or 12th and not get that bonus money, so we'll see how we go. Alright then, well let's get cracking then, shall we guys? Alton Park Fosters. We're going to have a, I think it's a 10 minute race. And unfortunately, the hat does have to come off. I've tried to get the VR headset and the hat working at the same time. It just doesn't like it. <laughs> anyway. Let's wait for this to load in the background. Uh, Automobilist 2. And we are now in the session. So let's pause that music. Laughing Gravy, good to see ya. Well, there's not much more to it. Let's just get stuck in, shall we? Drive. Need to reset that view. That's more like it. The VR is good as well. And uh, the chat seems to be working the headset so far as well today, so that is adds more of a bonus. Right. Let's get this thing out on the road. <laughs> Foster kids, Pinky. This pit limits are on, make sure we don't get a penalty coming out of pits. Clear on pit exit. Okay, Dan, we've got nine minutes to set a lap. Your brakes are cold, be careful. Your tyres are cold, watch out. Very wise indeed, Laughing Gravy. 
It's my last day of work tomorrow. And working from home as well, which is a nice benefit. Because it is already 20 to 10 at night here in Australia, in Brisbane, where I'm streaming this from, even though it says Alton Park. I'm actually physically located in Brisbane, Australia. So, uh, working from home tomorrow gives me an extra hour in bed. That's nice. <laughs> Nah, I'm not sure if there is Pinky, but then again, it has been a while since I've been out clubbing. Because he said seals under the pedal, uh, club, club, bad, bad joke, real bad joke, tasteless joke. I'm not Canadian. That's Bulk Brogan's snowy bear hunting brother. Which we may meet if we ever get a race scheduled at the Ile de Notre Dame Circuit Montreal. Wow, missed that first corner completely. Need to shift my braking point back a bit for that. I will say it is very odd getting in this truck after racing in the uh, race room truck at the weekend. The handling could not be more different. Like the theory behind the vehicle is the same. Lots of weight, early turn in. Manage the understeer on the entry of the corner and then use the power to kind of flick it out and slide it through the exit. The leader has just done a 113.70. But the way it feels in the steering wheel and the way it actually carries itself across the track. Like this 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 version doesn't feel as deadly as the racing one. And the racing one is limited as well. To 160. Whereas this has absolutely no speed limiter, so you do get faster top speeds. Not that there's much place to get that around here at Alton Park, it's all curves. Okay, break earlier, down to fourth, bleed off more speed, get it turned in, then use the power to slide it around. And that was a 118, I'm five seconds off the pace. But that's kind of expected. Because that was a shock of a lap. That first sector was alright, but it just... Might be track oh, I think it might, Mr. Spotter. Wow! Just massive understeer. Okay, now we're seeing lots of front blocking. Mirror signal manoeuvre. Except it's a case of check your mirrors. Signals aren't an option, Automobilista 2, and maneuver straight back onto the racing line again. But, uh, yeah. Just massive understeer there. So you have to be careful. It's... Fastest lap for Fernandez. 113.16. Very, very understeery. And I got a feeling the chat may have died in my headset after I said really nice things about Streamlabs. We're going to have to find an alternative method for the VR headset to see your chat messages. Unless nobody's said anything since Pinky made that ridiculous seal joke. I'm going to finish this lap. And then we're going to have a look. See if I can pin another chat window inside the headset that actually works. Like the one I used at Bathurst. That was good. All right, bleed off the speed, turn it in. Five minutes remaining, five minutes left. So don't forget, this may be a practice session, but it's also qualifying as well. These are combined sessions, so there is no time to stuff it up here. This is my familiarizing session, and it also sets my position on the grid as well, so yeah. Thrown into the deep end, but that's what we like here at Racing Life. Being able to whip through these events nice and quickly. That's a new fastest lap for Fernandez. 113, 114. Oh, a nice bit of sliding there. Sector 2 time is good. Tire temps are good. Your front brakes are pretty hot now. Use the torque up the hill. This is 5.4 seconds, 5.5 seconds up. Is it going to be enough? 
that's pole. Yes, pole by three tenths of a second. 63 times fast. This is exactly what I need for the championship. All right, bring it back to the pits. And let's see if I can fix that VR. Yeah, there's been a lot of messages I've missed in chat. It has died in the headset, so let me just pop out YouTube chat. Move that over here. And... Let's pin that in the headset, so sorry for missing your messages. I literally didn't see them. Not quite sure what it is, but the integration between Streamlabs and like the pop-out widget, it sometimes does it on stream as well, it just kills the chat messages. But uh, yeah, it just doesn't, it's just not updating regularly guys. And it's really, really annoying. Because there's no, no apparent fix for it, I don't know what's causing it. Oh, Ez, hello! Good to see ya. Sorry I missed your messages there as well, mate. There we go. Right, I can see your chat now. And thank you for the vote. I feel the same way. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, drive fast, score points, earn mega bucks, keep Arrow happy, our sponsor, and groom moustache. Well, there's one, and obviously two, with the current pole position time of a one minute twelve point eight. The only person into the one minute twelves. It's very close behind. Now, I can't remember who it is I'm fighting. Was it Gabriel and Felipe? Are they my championship rivals? They're the two people I absolutely have to finish ahead of. And Clodaldo, I think, was a couple of points behind me as well. So, yeah. I just got to keep that in mind, guys. <laughs> a laughing gravy. It, it is a bit of an embarrassment. Although Bulk Brogan just embraces that embarrassment and tends to use that to his advantage. Which is actually also one of the reasons he may have fled New South Wales and ended up in the South American motorsports racing scene. But that's, that's another story. Um... Yeah, uh, racing life has definitely just become a thing. It, it's it's a I mean we got two minutes left in the quality session I'm not going to go out and set another lap I'm pretty confident with the handling on this I think it's chat time and yep thank you sticky Bulk Brogan back with his uh, patented translucent beer two minutes to go two minutes in addition to being a racing driver he does also invent groundbreaking beverages. But yeah, racing life. Thank you, Ricardo, again, by the way. It's just been an absolutely amazing thing. It's just kind of... It came out of nowhere, really. And it has transformed a game that previously I wouldn't touch the AI with a 10-foot barge pole. Whereas now, I actually really enjoy racing against them, and I'm thrown into all these weird car track combinations. And it's just... It's... It's created a series on this YouTube channel that kind of... Which I was not expecting. And it's an offline single player experience, kind of like Sticky says Toka, Toka 2, or is it Toka 3? It was Toka 2. Where it's just a bit more chill, it's a bit more fun, I can kind of hang out with you guys a bit. And it's not as serious, and we can have a laugh, we can, uh, you know, there's no pressure. It's not like an event that we're all kind of trying to race against each other. And I, I love that, I love the sim racing events, I love the big racing um, you know, the Enduros, the charity streams, the sprint races, and it's just... Yeah. It's it's great. I love that side of things. I love the competition. But there is something about just hanging out and chilling out. And racing life is the perfect way to do that. It really is. Because it's not just kind of, let's do some races in Automobilist 2. Racing life gives it context. It's like... There's a reason. I'm racing a truck at Alton Park Fosters, and that's to earn a position in the World Series and earn some more money, and it's great. It really is. It's It gives it context, and I can't wait to see what it throws at me next. Love.
Lower radiator setting to 40. Okay. That bulk has gone soft on us. Bulk! Nine minutes. You're in pole. Oh, you've got an abusing crew chief on, on, the, on the separate go sticky. You don't need to worry about that. Um, lower the radiator setting to 40. Uh, radiator setting. Uh, radiator, radiator, radiator. Are you sure? Are you gonna... Are you gonna destroy my engine? Hey, Colin Burton! How are you going, sir? Good to see you. Hmm. <laughs> Rangy! Good to see you as well, mate. Alright, done. Truck scrubbed. They're the only tyres that we've got. And uh, we've got enough fuel for the race as well. That's good. Fine. Well, we're ready to go racing. That's all we need. <laughs> oh, he's trying to sabotage me here. All right. Well, we'll see how it goes. I've lowered the radiator to 50, not 40, all the way like you recommended. Middle ground. Compromise, shall we say. Because there's one thing you don't want to do. That's go into a race with a completely untested setup. Anyway, first race of the day. Like I said, we are... Second or third in the championship. We're third in the championship behind Gabriel and Felipe. Like three points and two points respectively in it is not much. Claudaldo Montero is behind us by one or two points as well. So it's going to be quite tight. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoy the race. I hope we can bring home a championship win. I guess we'll find out in 10 minutes. All right. Let's do this. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to leave a stream a like. Say hi in chat because I can actually see you now and subscribe to see more. Because this Racing Life series ain't going anywhere anytime soon. Alright, here we go. Ten minutes. Okay, Dan. Here we go. Rolling start? Oh, I've stuffed up the rolling start. Oh! Go, go, go. That counts. That counts, right? Kind of threw me into the last... into the last corner with way too much speed and... <laughs> I'm on the brakes. Not much I can do about that, really. That's, um... a bit awkward for Automobilista 2 there. So now... We have a last to first challenge, guys. We've got ten minutes to try and get back up the field again. Left side. Still there. Clear left. Well, there's 10th. Let's get some spots. Let's see if we can overtake in a truck race at one of the tightest circuits I've ever raced at. If qualifying pace was anything to go by, you'd, you'd think so. Let's get the run. Right side. Clear to the right. Couldn't quite make it work around the outside there. Good job, it's quite a short lap. Tenth position. That's not an overtaking spot there. Use the power, flick the rear out, get the drive. Right Here we go, side. run the inside. Clear right. You estimate you've got five minutes of fuel remaining. Send it! On your left. Left side. That was a bit aggressive. Clear left. Getting the elbows out. We've got to try something here. Up to eight, with eight minutes to go. Position a minute. That's what we need. Touch the grass on the outside there, turning in. Managed to get away with it though. See front blocking going into Druids. Yep, bulk all the elbows out indeed, Sean. I need to. I need to do that today if I wanna try and reclaim this championship. Or is it going to be a Copa FL situation? It's just 
14. All over again. To Cladeldo. That lap was at 114.10. Was the guy behind me in the championship? Little bump and run here. On your what? Still there. Still there. Hold your line. Hold your line. Clear left. What's going on? That's seven. It's a scratch, mate. Just ignore it. Tight on the apex there. Locking your right front going into Nico Brook. Is that a Jimmer in chat? Jimmy Broadbent, hello, good to see you. Half your fuel. Thank you for tuning in, mate. Not sure if you got my message on Discord about the Praga series. You uh, saw on my uh, race stream video. But we do have a schedule, Sorry. and I saw you racing those recently. Absolutely That's epic steady. stuff, awesome fun, man. It would be an steady. honor to have you. But I uh, I obviously appreciate if you are a bit busy, sir. You've got a, you know, it's, it's not like you're racing those things in real life or anything. <laughs> uh, anyway, seventh position. Seventh position. That was at 114.64. Sector two is a second off the pace. Yeah, it's insane to think these trucks actually raced here. On your right. Like, for real. Like, this is not a hypothetical right. situation that we're dealing with here, guys. Good move, mate. Oh, Jimmy, I think we've definitely got a little bit of unfinished business, mate. Um, I remember racing against you a couple of years ago when the whole lockdown thing first started. The uh, 1996 Formula One season when you were Shetty Irvine. I was Barrichello in the Jordan and you absolutely annihilated me at Barcelona. <laughs> Man, you started behind me and then poof, gone, disappeared. So hopefully I've improved a little bit in those couple of years. But yeah, man, I'll send you some reminders just before the races. But yeah, if you can make it, that would be awesome. Okay, down. Mr. Praga himself. Estimate one minute of fuel remaining. V6, the gap to Martins behind is increasing. It's now 2.7 seconds. So we're now up to sixth position. That lap time was set the fastest lap of the race. We got four minutes to go. Seeing right front locking into old hall. And I think maybe I've damaged the gearbox or the tire or something because it's asking me to pit. I mean, I've got enough. F no, I haven't. Oh, Dan. Mate, you forgot to put the fuel in it, didn't you? <laughs> what do you reckon, chat? Should I live with this or do I get a restart? Am I allowed to restart on this one? I promise you I'll go back to the back of the field again. I'll stuff up the start like I did in this race, so at least it's legit then. You know, you're not getting scammed out of a pole win. Oh, that's wide as well because I'm trying to read chat. We've seen lots of front right locking. You're locking yep. the right front into uh, yep, yep, yep. Two litres remaining. Yep, I'm going to run out of fuel. I'm going to run out of fuel. Okay. That... <laughs> Far out. <laughs> oh, I'm going to pause it because we need some decisions here. Do I have to accept responsibility for my actions in this championship? And basically... Uh, do the rookiest of all mistakes and <laughs> not check the fuel before I start the, the, the finale of the season. Throwing away the championship in the process. Or do we come into the pits with three minutes to go in the race and finished absolutely dead last? Uh, pro streamer moves indeed. Do you know what? I'm actually going to... I'm going to leave it up to you guys. I'm going to run a poll for a couple of minutes. Uh, restart, yes or no? And if I do restart, I will go to the back of the field like I did on that race. Even though I wasn't intentionally going to the back of the field on that race. Okay, poll is up in chat, guys. Let me know what you think we should do. <laughs> Man. And I can't even blame you popping into chat for that one, Jimmy. I can't say, hey, you know, um, I got distracted because you weren't even here when I was setting up the fuel. So, yeah, anyway, yeah, let's see. So we got 90%, uh, 92% in favor of restarting this one. Restart but sing a Christmas song as a penalty. That wouldn't be a penalty for me. 
that would most definitely be a penalty for you. And uh, I don't think I don't think I'm familiar with any Christmas songs. Oil temp is fine. Well, that's good to know, Oez, that you didn't sabotage me. <laughs> All right. Well, the vote is uh, the vote is it, well, 15 people in. We've got 87 percent in favor of restarting this one. I think that's a pretty definitive vote, unless we get a landslide that's uh, that's gonna that's gonna send it all the way the other way. I think we're gonna be on a restart for this one. Uh, okay, right. Okay, let's do it. Let's restart it then. That's a pretty definitive vote. In fact, we got 17 votes and now it's 88 percent. So uh, yeah, let's end that poll. Let's restart this. I can't believe I did that. I can't believe I did that. <laughs> All right, restart session. Okay, boom. Let's ten minutes. Give it another crack. And let's. Have I? Thank you for the subscribe, Scott Weston. I know exactly. I know exactly why I've run out of fuel, because the Bathurst race that I did at the weekend that was on double fuel usage. It was on two times fuel usage, and um. I turned it up to two times in the practice session to uh, obviously do some practice for that race. And it seems that these settings have stuck into this championship. Ooh, excuse me. Hey, Amos, good to see you. Master Renderer, LPF. Luke. Yeah, so basically it seems that the settings that I did for that practice race have stuck with it for some bizarre reason. So I need to do some calculations again very quickly. I'm using... Oh, I reckon... I reckon 10 laps should do it. I'm going to tank it on 78 litres of fuel. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, right, let's do this. So we've definitely got enough fuel in it now. And um, oh, it's the same. Put the uh, put the radiator down to uh, 40 as well. I mean, that's, realistically, it's not going to make that much of a difference. Maybe like half a tenth of a second. Da. Anyway, done. Fuel is in. We're good. And as promised, we are going to go to the back of the grid. Because I messed up the I messed up the rolling start last time. So for consistency, I'm gonna mess up the rolling start again. Okay, try try again. Attempt number two. Ten minutes. Okay, get ready. So let's run wide. Let's let them all through. Oh no! Oh dear. Oh, anyway. Go, go, go. Alright, I think that's enough of a penalty. The guys behind didn't want to overtake. My two championship rivals are still ahead of me, so... All is good in the world. I suppose that technically counts as an extended practice session. That's an extra six minutes of experience that we're never gonna never gonna live down. <laughs> oh Wes. Mmm, yeah. Soak it all in, mate. Nothing like nothing like the smell of a diesel exhaust. Although there is something incredibly satisfying about racing fuel and the smell. And I don't know what it is. Oh, this guy's defending like crazy. Good on him. But I've been to Silverstone a couple of times back when I lived in the UK. And the GP2 cars. Because that, okay, I'm sure my age now, this is how long ago it was I visited Silverstone. It wasn't Formula 2, it was still called GP2. The GP2 cars always smelled the nicest. It was almost sweet when they drove past them. I'm not sure if it was the tyres or the fuel. There's definitely a very pleasant aroma around those cars that was just addictive. Maybe I was just so happy to be at Silverstone. I mean, it could have smelled like poo and it'd still be like, wow, it's such an amazing smell. I don't know. Minardi fan, aka Brody Steen. Good to see you, sir. Welcome to the chat. Bulk Mania is running wild, brother.
we're in ninth position here. I'm so sad that Rangy had to pull out of the race on Saturday. Look at this defense here. Wow. One side. Hold your line. Got him. He's still there. I'm so sad that Rangy had to pull out of the race on oh, not Saturday, on Monday. Um because obviously I was Bolt Brogan was there racing and we were going to be on the same team together so his code name was The Overtaker obviously play on The Undertaker uh, but sadly uh, Rangy couldn't make that race so uh, the joke was no more send far left hold your line clear left there we go now I need to finish ahead of Felipe and Gabriel, I think it was. And we got six and a half minutes to go in the race. On your left. Clear left. Oh! Oh! Okay, that's not going well at all. I've seen some minor damage. Try to make a move up the inside there. A place where there is definitely no room to make a move up the inside. Tap that guy, sent him spinning, rightfully. I got put in the gravel for it as well. And I do have some suspension damage. Well, we had Racho Man, uh, Nacho Man Randy damage in the stream the other day. You're locking your front into Lodge. Uh. I don't think I can restart this again, can I, guys? Uh, there's no permission to restart this one, is there? I've been that on my own accord, hey? This race is well and truly over now. You're locking your right front going into Old Hall. I think I can front us now. I mean, one of the advantages of single-player racing is you can press that restart button if it doesn't quite go your way, but is that the bulk broken way? Oh, that suspension's pretty messed up now, for sure. Oh, ten seconds back. Mate. What have you done? Incident in. Do it. Oh, there's a freebie, though. Okay, down. Five minutes to go. Five minutes left. You're halfway home. Got plenty of fuel. See it right front locking into. Do it. Ten minutes of fuel remaining. I don't think it's necessarily the fact that Bulk Brogan doesn't know what he's doing. It's the fact that he's used to racing much smaller vehicles. He's just not aware of the uh, the spatial footprint that these vehicles take him. You've just got out of track limits. When we are in ninth, we're going to get a few points. But it's not going to be enough for the championship. Oh, wow, yeah, way too late on the brakes there. Oh, there's definitely something disconnected at the front of the vehicle here that is causing it to oscillate quite badly and straight into a type. <laughs> we can't fix our suspension, mate. That's your day over. Push now, we can catch this guy. Um. What do you think? I'm missing a wheel. Is this restart worthy or is this going to be a DNF? Is this going to be a DNF? I think this might be a DNF. Uh, that is one of my ties indeed. Uh, okay. There's something disconnected at the front for sure. Okay, one, one more. One more vote. There you go, poll is now up. Poll is now up, guys. Let me know. 
you decide whether this is a DNF or not. <laughs> Five votes. Oh, it's a close one. It's a close one. It's almost 50-50. Uh, we got 67, 70% in favor of no, this is not a DNF. <laughs> Andre, your wheel is faster than you. <laughs> yeah, there's so many things I could blame. Uh, the size of the track, the understeer, the fact I'm used to race rooms trucks. But to be honest with you, it all comes down to my driving skill, which is not particularly great today, I must admit. Um, 14 votes. 80% in favor of no, this is not a DNF. I'm going to give it another minute, just in case. Uh, as you can see on the top right hand corner of the screen, the lovely blue icon indicating that I do not indeed have a wheel there, because, well, I mean, it's. I guess cold means no? I mean, it's zero. Okay, zero bar. There's definitely no wheel. 76% in favor of no, this is not a DNF. So that's pretty definitive. Uh, time for a clear beverage, not a beer, unfortunately. And a deep breath and half a mustache worth of fibers. And we go again, right? The last time we go again. Okay, yeah, 17 votes, 76% uh, in favor. Okay. End poll. Is this a DNF you're looking for? Nah, brah. 76%. A restart. So now we have the fuel for it. You're in poll. Nine minutes. But twice the skill has eluded me. Let's give this another go, shall we? Ten minutes. Get ready. You would be surprised indeed, Brody. Okay, so let's run it wide like we did last time. Let the field go through. Go, go, go. There we go, and we're off. Attempt number three. Down in tenth position. Need to finish ahead of Claudio, Gabriel, and Felipe. Car left. Still there. Still there. Still there. Clear to the left. Oh, that was a bit cheeky moving across on me there. Car right. We're right. Gonna go try around the outside in the truck here. That's not gonna work. They're tight on the corner. If I can get the launch off though. Get the run up the inside before they pull across the block. Yes, there we go. Because the AI does like a cheeky block there. They are very much a fan of the JB method. I'm just gonna run it in the middle of the road. So now that is eighth position. Although all the people we need to finish ahead of are still ahead of me. <laughs> Father Jack much. I love my brick. Except this ain't a Volvo 240, so it's more like something Damo would say. Send! On your left. He's still there. Clear left. Well done, Dan. Good pass. Nice front. I mean, I know you're probably thinking in chat, that's a bit aggressive, but if that kind of moves okay for Verstappen, then it's more than okay for Bulk Brogan. I would just like to say that if I was racing against real people right now, there was no way I would pull a move like that off. That's just cheeky ass. And that's wide ass. Front right wheel. You're out of track limits there. Locking your right front going into Druids. Okay. 
once you get the hang of these trucks, they are pretty fun, to be honest with you. It's just done at 113.52 B7. That last light was at 114.60. You just got to brake early enough and get enough of turning. Pop my bias to the rear a bit, which should hopefully help with some of that turning. You really got to, got to get the weight of the vehicle shifted nice and early. Oh, that's better. Wow. That's not. <laughs> SVG did it all season, so true, true. If it's good enough for Shane and Max, it's definitely good enough for Bulk. Montero in the gap is 2.3 seconds. You're pretty slow through Foster's. Your front brakes are getting pretty hot. All right, Claudetto, Felipe, and Gabriel. I need a podium. I need to finish on the podium. Six minutes to go. That's the fastest lap. That was a uh, 112.48. That's by far my fastest lap. That's half a second faster than what I did in Quali. I got twice as much fuel on board as well now. Not that a few extra liters of fuel makes any difference to the overall weight of these things. Let's be let's be real. Don't hit the wall on the inside there. Well, it's not even a wall, it's a tire barrier. It's not even a tire barrier, it's a tire. With the with the strength of reinforced concrete and enough to tear the wheel off a truck like this. I can almost smell that podium, I can almost smell that championship victory. It smells like diesel. Alright Dan, you've got ten minutes of fuel remaining. Five minutes to go, five minutes left. There we go. Third to seventh, nose to tail here. Half distance, the fuel's okay. We're setting the pace. That lap was at 112.51. We got the run here. All right. Clear to the right. That was definitely a gap that didn't exist there. Now this is where I had problems last time. They're on the right inside. Side. All right. You see the old switcheroo? You probably won't even feel it. Left side. There we do. Still there. Hold your line. Clear on the left. Got him. Nice one. That's up to six. Remember, I need third to get this championship. Got three and a half minutes to go. Time was 113.67. Get the rear sliding out. That brake bias adjustment definitely helps. It's getting close. The gap in front is now Squeaky bum time here. Zero. A little bit of a bump draft. <laughs> There's no point backing out of it because I'm just going to lose time. Might as well. Push them all along in the fight here. All right, keep it nice and tight. Exit's so important here. Left side. Hold your line. Yes, yes. Sends up the inside up to fifth. Two and a half minutes to go. Good stuff. Keep it coming. 
Five. These two guys ahead. Your last lap time was at 113.22. Are the two guys I need to finish ahead of to win the championship? Got maybe three laps to go in this race. It's going to be close. Going to need some unholy sends from here. That's it. Get the drive out. On your lap. Still there. And that was clean. There. But no contact with that one. Keep it steady. Clear on the left. That wasn't so much. That was a bit more block pass. That was a bit more uh, understeer. This is it. This is with the championship win. This guy I'm fighting against now. No mistakes. No pressure. But this is it. He's making me go to the outside. And then cut, cutting the back, cutting back across under braking on me. That's a bit cheeky. But he knows it's for the championship as well. Gabriel Robe up ahead. This might, might just be one more lap. That lap was at 113.64. This might be the last lap. Uh, we, I think the lead across the line with like a second spare. Right side. This is going to be unconventional. Still there. Clear right. Got him. Are they going to send it back though? Great move. Keep it up. Oh, big tap in the rear from them. But that is third position. There may be one more lap after this. Depends. It really depends on when the leader crosses the line. So I'm going to have to fight for this just to be safe. That's five minutes of fuel left. No! You're out of track limits there. Right side, clear right. We're seeing lots of front locking. You're locking your fronts into. Right side, far left. Clear left. Oh, throwing it away! It's pretty bad, mate. Just went in too hot, understeered onto the grass. It's just not meant to be. Far left. Clear left. Are we going to get one more lap? Yes. Now keep pushing. E5, last lap. One more lap. I do have some damage on the rear right. I need to overtake those two cars ahead of me. Your outside track limits there. Oh, shut up, spotter. Come on, 1.5 seconds. Oh, I'm gonna have to send it here. Okay, down, gaining on this car. The gap is 0.9. Slower than us into Foster's. It's not gonna be enough. One more lap and it might have been enough. <laughs> no, the championship's gone. D5, that's the finish. Oh, just not meant to be. Three restarts and an almost certain comeback from the back of the grid. To then throw it away, just hitting the grass. Just on the outside like that. Right side. Whoops indeed, Paul. Right line. <laughs> Clear to the right. Oh, what a race though. What what a what a race that we got in the end and somehow find a stack stack of time on that lap though, which bodes well because the first round of the World Series, which I might be able to register for now, is also at Alton Park Fosters. So technically it's another restart, but it's a brand new series, so we know where we are on pace now. So let's just return this back to the pits, shall we? Let's skip this cooldown lap. Let's go and get some points added into racing life. Okay, let's pop some music on in the background. Here we go. And... Boom. All right. Lovely. Right. Glasses on. Let's see the damage then, shall we? It's in the... <laughs> Ball in the gravel. Thank you, sir. 
All right then. So that is confirmation of the final points. Gabriel and Felipe, they both finished ahead on points. I finished ahead of Claudalos. So actually that we finished in championship order. We finished in championship order. So if we continue, so qualified on pole, finished in fifth. And in terms of the championship, I think we're going to be third here. No, no, actually, we got pipped because Pedro Paulo Fernandez, who went and won that race, actually got both of us on points. Transmissions going or something on the track. So actually, after all of that, we got bumped down to fourth in the points. So that that is um, not ideal. However, that was a hell of a race, that was a hell of a championship, and considering it wasn't something I was ever going to be competitive in, I think a fourth place is rather fortuitous. It's quite good. Pure luck indeed. Oh, raw luck indeed, oh, it's a Potato, what is this? This is this is the stream of Racing Life in Automobilist 2, where we've just finished fourth in the European Truck Series. We're going to go and register for the World FIA Truck Series. <laughs> The champion got z That is very true, George. Always one to notice a good stat, Mr. Mr. Senior. The champion, Gabriel, actually didn't win a race all season. Got three podiums and um, ended up scoring 61 points. So if we switch it over to Racing Life, let's pop our results into here and see how we did in terms of fame, experience, and money. Because we're still going to get... Let's have a look. I mean, that's... To be fair, that's still $65,000. That's going to pretty much double my uh, my bank balance. Oh, the Bathurst race was awesome, Potato. Bathurst race was incredible. I uh, couldn't quite get Darren DGM on pace. Kind of fell off the back of him towards the end. But the first half of the race was superb. I think for the first half an hour, there was no more than a second between us. And then I just kind of went off the pace and... Uh, traffic didn't work out well. Yeah. That's that's that. Anyway, competition, advance. Uh, here we go. European Truck Racing Championship. Alton Park Fosters. So we qualified in pole. We finished in fifth. And we got fourth in the championship. So, that's right, isn't it? Before I press OK, that is correct, guys. You can just confirm that that is the case. Yep. Buffering. Yep, there you go. Thank you, Sticky. All right, finish. OK. 0.24 fame earned for the result. 3.06 fame earned for the championship. $2,700 in sponsorship money and $65,610 in championship prize money. So let's go back. Wow! Look at that! Look at that! Uh, more importantly though, Sean, aka Mum, enjoy your day. Look after yourself. Short but sweet visit here today. I'm, uh, I'm going to carry on with the truck racing. But I hope whatever you've got planned is nice, is good, it goes well, and I'll catch you soon on Skype. Uh, big shout out to, to Sean Finn in chat. Let's get them, let's get them mum emojis spammed in chat, shall we? Because there's one thing that DDF and his family does very well is bring Bulk Brogan into the mix. It's like a brother from another mother. <laughs> All right, see you soon, Sean. I'll catch you on the WhatsApp. All right, so that, that that's where we are in terms of the championship then. So let's go to the competition. We can't advance to that. I don't want to do the Formula Vs just yet. I'm driving a truck, I'm used to a truck. The logical thing is to register for the next championship. So in terms of money, we've now got $136. is incredible. That's a lot. That is a lot. Wow. 
just think of the days when we started with, what was it, $5,000? Or was it $20,000? What did we start with back in the day? I can't remember. But yes, the next one is the FIA Super Truck Championship. Which is the same vehicle that we're driving now, but we have a brand new schedule with, get a load of this, $140,000 on offer for the prize. And because I did alright in that championship, my fame is now at 22. It means I can register because the fame you need for this championship is only 15. So I've already got the truck. I've already driven at this track this month. So I reckon we're just going to go and register. Boom, there we go, registered. So obviously our money has gone back down again to 125 because that was kind of a hefty registration fee. But it means that we're going to go straight back into it again and we're going to set up a brand new championship for the FIA World Series. Now this is the bit of Racing Life slash Automobilista 2 that would be amazing if it was integrated. But unfortunately it's not. Unfortunately at the moment... Um, and probably for the foreseeable future, Racing Life is completely separate to Automobilist 2 in that it's a standalone app. It's not integrated in any way whatsoever. So, when you have a new championship, it does take a little bit of effort to get that championship set up. So, I'm going to... Uh, am I going to delete this? Yeah, we've done that championship. I'm going to delete that. We don't need that anymore. Consider it gone. And we're going to set up a new series. So, I want to... Uh, available vehicles. No... Copa trucks. Let's use it as a base. Obviously, we've got the Vulcan. That is our vehicle of choice. That's what we've got. Boom. Done. So, there are opponents. Let's change the calendar. Can we change the calendar? It's not letting me change the calendar there. Start new championship. Okay. Opponent settings. Oh! Automobilist 2 crashed on me. Maybe that's why I couldn't select the options that I wanted. Uh, unfortunately, Sticky, let me just have a look at racing life again while I start up Automobilist 2 in the background again. Um, the, the Supercars Championship is not available in August. Can't do it, mate. There's nothing to register for here. Uh, it's not available in September, or October, or November, or December. And it... I can't see next year yet? No, it doesn't generate next year yet. So, we're currently in the month of August in Racing Life. And the Supercars Championship started in May. So next year, when it comes around to 2024, we'll do that. We'll do Supercars because there's a lot of, uh, lot of, lot of interest for it in chat from what I can see. All right, let's try this again, shall we? Let's create a new championship. There we go, Edit Championship. That button was missing before. And now, I've actually lost my Copa truck. I've lost my Copa truck thing off the side, so it's deleted that preset I had for some reason. Strange Automobilist 2 things. Right, so let's edit this championship then, shall we? Let's remove, 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 remove. Formula V, Copa truck. Done. Oh, I want to get rid of four. I don't want to multi-class of those two. That'd be horrendous. That's what we did at the weekend, and I think I ran over about 10 Formula Juniors in race room. So, FIA Super Truck Championship. Let's have a look at the setup of this, shall we? So, we've got 13 AI. So, let me just change that over to 13 AI. So, we've got a 14 vehicle grid. 20 laps is a little bit of a longer race distance, so I reckon should we increase these races from 10 to 15 minutes? Or should we keep them at 10 minutes? Just so we can quick fire them and get through them. What do you reckon, guys? Uh, no, Potato. I haven't added the static between Racing Life and Automobilist 2 because... 
I tend to switch between those windows quite a lot, and it would be overkill, I think. It get quite a lot, quite quickly. Uh, don't forget to change fuel use back to one. Thank you, George. You legend. All right then. Options, gameplay, fuel use accelerated. Okay, there you go. Done. Thank you, George. It depends how many restarts you want. Okay. Um, edit championship. Now oh, we got to do that again, actually. Alright, so Formula V. Let's get rid of that. Copa truck. Let's get that done. Boom. Remove, 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 remove. Uh, number of 13. Score type. Stock car feature race. Now, there's only going to be 14 people in the race. So... Should we just go with top 10 standard or should we go with Formula 3 scoring? So like... Yeah, it's like less points. Let's go with that. Let's go with F3 Brazil scoring. It would make sense, Potato, that these races, and now because they're the World Series, should be 15 minutes. And when I get into the IMSA stuff and the WEC stuff, I'm going to start doing like hour races. So we might only get one or two races per stream the further we get into racing life. But for this, for this point, I do kind of want to get through my first season and get to the end of the season. And then we can really start registering for longer races. That was close. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> Why did I was just uh, uh, okay? Super Truck World, uh, F3 Brazil, pit stop refilling allowed, full course yellows, no. Nope. All right, then let's have a look at the schedule. Let's see what circuits we've got in the championship, shall we? So we got Alton Park Fosters, Hockenheim Short B. Alton Park Island, Nürburgring Sprint, oh god, Hockenheim Short A, and Cascade Alton, oh, that's Estoril, I love Estoril, yes, okay, alright, so first track, Alton Park Fosters, the only sensible use of Fosters is to be the name of a circuit and nothing more. Alright, so qualifying is 10 minutes. Race 1. Obviously this is in August as well. Session settings, so let's put that over to August. Save. Start time. Weather random. Uh, 10 minutes. Let's keep it at 10 minutes, because I want to do. I want to get through these. Because don't forget we've also got Formula V races to do as well. So I think 10 minutes is good. 10 minutes is a nice amount. Because that gives us, yeah, gives us more chance of getting through more races. So plus one lap, no custom date, no, yeah, it's good. Uh, rolling start, yep. Yeah. Formation lap, no mandatory stop, no. <laughs> Excuse me. That looks good. Okay, we're good. And qualifying again, random weather starts at 11 and lasts for 10 minutes. Yeah, that's fine. We don't need any more than that. So those settings should now take throughout the rest of the championship. So Alton Park Fosters. I just realized you guys couldn't see anything that I was doing then because you were looking at racing life. I need to learn to switch these screens more often. So Hockenheim B. So just to show you what I was going through here. Alton Park. And these are the sessions that we're running with. So session settings running in August. Start date. Dip, 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 dip. Yeah, you can you can see that. That's fine. So that that's going to be the session settings for all of the championships. So Alton Park Fosters, add a new round. Hockenheim B. I'm not familiar with that at all. National Short A, Short B. Oh, really? That's like the worst possible layout because you've got all the tight hairpins and it adds an extra. 
little chicane in there as well. Um, there is actually Monaco has Monaco has now been included in season two, George. So uh, there's very much a possibility of supercars, the V8 supercars at Monaco. Okay, so that's Hockenheim Short B. What's the next one we've got? It is Alton Park Island. So let's add a new round of Alton Park Island. That's the one. That's a very tight herp in that. Wow. That's going to be a nightmare in these trucks. And then Racing Life, let's have a look. Round four is going to be Nürburgring Sprint, which we did in the first season. And I absolutely despised, because it's just herping after herping after herping. Nürburgring Sprint. Now, it doesn't say Sprint or S. Um, I'm going to go with that one, that's Sprint. Yeah, exactly. And this is Hockenheim short with an extra chicane in it, Brody, as well. So this is... <laughs> Ricardo. Oh, man. Some of your life decisions, mate. I'm questioning you right now. <laughs> Hockenheim short A. Just to make things even more confusing. You've got Hockenheim short B and short A. Select track. Hockenheim. See, like, that's, that's short A, right? What's, watch this little bit here. So this is short A, and that's short B. That chicane is going to be a nightmare in these trucks. So anyway, short A, short B. And we got one more round. Is going to be Cascade Alternate. Right. So select track. Cascade Alternate. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's the version of Estoril without that horrible chicane in it. Whew. Olaf, thank you for joining the stream. Good to see you, sir. Hope you are looking after yourself. Hope you're taking care of yourself and the family and everybody. Say hi. Not that they probably know who I am, but tell them this random guy with a fake mustache on the internet says hi. Um, and then proceed to answer many questions about why are you speaking to random men on the internet with fake moustaches. Alright, cool. I think that's good. I think we're good there. Alton Park Fosters, Hockenheim Short B, Alton Park Island, Nürburgring Sprint 20, Hockenheim Short A, Cascade Alternate, 6 rounds, 10 minutes each in the qualifying slash practice and then 10 minutes in the race, 14 opponents, saved. And I select my vehicle, that's going to be this one again, because that's the one that I'm renting. Thank you, OLF. Good to know the hypnosis has worked. <laughs> I've always, always thought that Australia and New Zealand are severely underrepresented in most circuits. Um, Highlands Motorsport Park would be an absolute must. That is such a good circuit. If anyone can bring that, like Race Room or Automobilist 2, then that would be great. Highlands Motorsport Park, superb circuit. All right, well, this is our championship. We're good to go. Let's start it, shall we? Race distance scale, 100. Opponent aggression, high. That was good. And opponent skill, 105. I'd say that worked out pretty well last time. Actually, I might bump it to 107, because I did have a bit of a pace advantage toward the end of the race there. So let's bump it up to 107. Yeah. That's... it's... it's a... it's a great song. Absolute pleasure to be able to record with these guys back in Manchester. Uh, Lauren, I know you're never going to be watching this stream because... well... We haven't spoken for years. I don't think you've probably forgotten all about me. And likewise, until I've just thought of this now. But it was a pleasure working with you. You got a great voice, and I hope you're looking after yourself, Lauren, wherever you are in the world right now. I 
Let's go and do some Automobilista 2 truck racing, shall we? Let's get a lap on the board and then skip the session and go straight to the race because I don't I don't need the practice. <laughs> I've already done a race here and a qualifying session here and a practice here, so let's just let's just go straight into it, guys. I wonder. Oh, it's heavy cloud and dry though. <laughs> it really does laugh in gravy. It really does. And it may even rain, because this weather's set to random. Anyway, let me check the OS setting. The radi uh, radiator's at 40. Everything else is good. Brake bias. Brake bias was really nice at 60, actually. I enjoyed that a lot. And the fuel is good. I'm going to leave it with heavier fuel, because well, it's not really going to slow it down that much. Right, let's do this. Practice slash qualifying. There we go. It's gotten very quiet all of a sudden here. Let's get my VR chat back in the position again. Lovely. Oh, it's sticky. I'm definitely going to be heading out to New Zealand, mate. It's the next destination on the list that I want to go visit. I've never been before. And I hear it's a pretty beautiful part of the world. It takes it, looks clear. We've got eight minutes to set a lap. We've got cold brakes all round. Be careful. Uh, yes. Fires. We need to get some heat into them. Yes, laughing gravy. The fuel use has been sorted. Big shout out to George Senior for the reminder. Oh wow, cold brakes, cold tires. Uh, the horrible sound is the tyres. The tyres are very squealy, Potato. Alright, we've got a clear track. We're now on the World Series. So the competition's going to be tougher. And not just because I've turned the AI up. Doesn't sound great, does it, Bushel? Must admit, Race Room have uh, done a much better job of simulating what it's like, or what I imagine it would be like in a truck, from the sounds, the gearbox, the water spray, the handling. I must admit, Race Room have done a much better job than Racer Studios. I mean, this is still fun, don't get me wrong. Thank you, Colin. You too, mate. All the best from sunny Australia. Oh, it's a bit wide. Is that gonna... Is that gonna be uh, the track limit? No, nope, I think I got away with that. Sector one time is good. Tyres are coming up to temp now, which is nice. Bit of upper on the way out, eight tenths up. The car in front has just done at 1.30.50. Oh, it was truck limits. <laughs> oh, potato. When's your baby due again, mate? When are you going to be a father? Not soon enough if you keep on cracking jokes like that. Find a tent 
in sector two. One point one seconds up. Sector one is quick. You're a tenth off the pace in sector two. You're two tenths off. The oh, that's almost three. pole. Okay, down. Five minutes to go. Five minutes left. 0.029 seconds away from pole position. Surely I can find that around the lap somewhere. Sector one time is good. That was nice, slid the rear end out. Oh, it's neck and neck with my, with my Delta. I can't believe Jimmer popped into the chat before. That's insane! I, two times I, it's just hit me then. I'm just thinking. Again, I just had a chat two with Jimmer. Okay. And he officially. You, you saw it as well. You've got proof in writing. He says he's going to try and make it That's for two rounds. One or two rounds of the series. Which is just insane! Alright, that's enough for qualifying. Ah. You did miss Jim a potato. He was in chat briefly. We had a little discussion about the the Praga series, and um, I'll, I'll take I'll take a screenshot or something for later. But that was, yeah. It just I don't know I don't know why I thought about that then. Just kind of just came back into my memory. Hit me it was like, hang on. Yeah, that conversation actually happened. Who'd have thought a throwaway comment in a race room update video would be like, hey, it's it's going to generate this interest. Anyway, um, for those who are not sure what I'm talking about, uh, I recently released a race room update video because Race Room have recently released the Praga R1 for Race Room, obviously. Um, and I made a throwaway comment that you can now host, say, your own brick car series, your theoretical brick car series, and um, I was like, I might do that next year. I might host that. And then Jimmy popped up in the comments and said, I'd be interested, let me know, send me some details. So I sent him some details on Discord, because uh, we're in we, we're in the uh, the VEC Discord together and the SROL Discord together, because we've raced together there before. Not closely, um, and we haven't really had any conversations, but... You know, I've got a mutual connection, so I sent him a message on there. I didn't come across as like a complete stalker saying, hey! You know, it's like we kind of know each other already a little bit, I guess. Well, I know him. And um, yeah, sent in the provisional schedule of the races that we're going to be in next year. One race every month. It's going to take place on either the second or third Saturday That's of every two month. Minutes left. Two minutes. Each round has two races that are going to be 12 hours apart. So basically, it's to accommodate for all time zones across the community. So instead of basing it in European times, or basing it in Australian times, and then excluding one half of the world, there's going to be two rounds, uh, two races per round. And you can take part in both races if you want, but you only keep your best result from each round, basically. And it's going to be a community championship over the course of seven months next year. Starts in February, it's going to go all the way through to August. And it's going to be epic. And there are actually real trophies, actual physical real trophies that Sticky has very kindly bought in New Zealand. We'll be sending them over to myself to get them engraved with the, the winners. So there's going to be Praga R1s, there's going to be Audi TTRS VLNs, and there's going to be Mazda MX-5. So three classes, ten cars in each class. It's going to be multi-class. We're going to be racing at Donington, uh, Gelaresen, Zolder, Chang, Bathurst, Sonoma, Silverstone. Is that seven circuits? I think it is. It's going to be epic. 45-minute races. Two times fuel usage and tyre usage, so there will be pit stops required in most races, but some of them in the Praga and maybe the Audi might be able to might be able to fuel save it and no stop if you can keep the tyres. But 
I'll be posting all the details on my Discord server and posting them up on YouTube, doing an announcement video very soon, once we get those details locked in, because we want to try and build the interest, get as many people in the races as possible, because, yeah, Jimmy might be the Jimmy Broadbent for one or two races in the Braga, which would be insane. Anyway, that that is that is a separate thing today. We're racing in Racing Life in Automobilista 2. We've just finished the qualifying slash practice session and we're on pole again by a second on most people. Now, the difficulty was previously on 105. I did actually turn it up to 107 for this race. Should I turn it up to 108? 110 maybe? Should I turn the trucks up to 110? Pole position. 10 minutes. Because Darius does make a good point. I mean, Gabrielle behind is two tenths off my pace, but then the other people are like a second back as well. So what, what do you reckon, guys? Should we up the difficulty even more? What do you reckon? Darius is definitely saying send it to 110 on the difficulty. What do what, 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 what the rest of you think? Should we do the more... Should we, should we up the difficulty? Oh, that's a good point, Potato. Race pace might be different, so maybe maybe they'll race faster in the race. Because we can always turn it up for race two. How does that sound? Should we should we should we just keep it like this for race one? Uh, laughing gravy, stick to your increments, otherwise it gets out of hand too quickly. Uh, yeah, I agree. I've already turned it up from 105 to 107 for this race. Now I am obviously getting used to the truck and getting better in the truck. So it I'm gonna stick with 107. And if I win, I'll put it up to 1010 for the next one. Actually, I'll put it up to 110 uh, 110 for the next one anyway. Um two tenths ahead of Gabrielle Kevin, and I think I was a second ahead of these, but these there was nothing in it for these guys. <laughs> Sticky. Now that's an emote I haven't seen for a while. Mr. Epps. Mr. Mike Epps, the driver trainer legend himself. Right. Oh, this is the first race. This is the first race of the season, Kevin. This is a brand new series. This is the World Series now. We're racing on the world scene. We just finished the Euro Series. So this is first race of the season. So let's just go into it. Let's just go straight in, I reckon. So let me check the fuel again. Uh, that's enough for 21 laps. Let's turn the fuel down. We only want like 10 laps worth of fuel in it as well. Say 40 litres ought to do it. Uh, brake bias is good. Yeah, everything's good. Yeah, we're good, guys. All right, then. Don't forget to leave the stream a like, say hi in chat, and subscribe to see more Automobilist 2 Racing Life. Maybe not next week, because it'll be between Christmas and the year, but definitely in 2023. Okay, let's go racing. Okay, Dan, be ready. Watch for the lights. Thanks, Kevin. Let's go. Slightly balked off the start line there. Far right. Clear, clear to the right. I did. Did I do the whole qualifying session? Have I done the whole qualifying session in Racing Life Scene, or did I accidentally switch it to Racing Life instead of Automobilista 2? Have I just... Have... <laughs> oh, sorry, guys. Sorry. Sorry. All my windows are all over the place. You saw Quali. Right, I switched accidentally. Because chat is popped out, chat is now covering half of Streamlabs on my monitor, so it's hard to see. I'm gonna I'm gonna start that again. Okay, here we go. That's Paul. Ten minutes. Nice and neat. Stay out of trouble. Pro streamer moves, guys. Floor it. Heading down to the first corner for the first time. So I've got someone with an overlap on the right there. Give him a bit of space. Looks like they've fallen back. Oh, 
I'm not sure. The uh, starting procedure in Automobilist 2 here at Alton Park does leave a lot to be desired in the final corner. Last race it threw me off into the gravel and then it kind of put me a few car lengths behind. I do seem to be pulling away a little bit now. Well done, Dan. Good start. We all know how easy it is for me to throw away a good result here. Oh wow, massive advantage there. They all just bogged down behind. Alright, the trick now is just to bring it home in one piece. There's a bit of death behind. Oh, that's what happened then. Less than expert. Hope you're keeping alright, less than expert. It's been a while, mate. Oh, I wouldn't say that just yet, Darius. You know, I can spin it myself, mate. Plenty of chances for me to bin it. I know it's only eight minutes left in the race, but... Uh, I might spin, they might speed up. It's not over till it's over. Because after the epic fight back of the last race... It was still... Uh, still threw it away on the second last lap, man, so... Let's not get carried away here. See, the gap behind is now three seconds, so they have closed a little bit on me there. You're now in the lead. Your front brakes are getting a bit hot. Boggy! Good to see you, Boggy! I'll tell you what, it is incredibly warm in this Czech shirt. I wore it as just like a joke, because, you know, trucker and all that kind of thing. It's now 5.9 seconds. I kind of forgot I was wearing it until just then. It's very warm indeed. I don't know, I don't know why I'm wearing two layers. It's Brisbane, Australia in the middle of summer. It's like 30 degrees with the aircon going flat out. Fastest lap of the race. You've just done a 112.06. Sector three times okay. If there's one thing you should know about Australia, potato, is that everybody is sweaty all of the time, no matter what they say. I mean, ask my parents. You know, they were here for the best part of a month. They experienced it for themselves. Oh, no restarts. Yep. This is the first attempt I've had at this race. Be on target for a 1 minute 11 at this rate. Fastest lap. You've just done a 111.84. Five minutes remaining. Bring it on home. You're the man. All right, Dan. You're halfway home. Your fuel is fine. A bit wide at turn one there. Lost me half a second, but we've got a 7.5 second advantage. I think Darius. Is it Darius? Darius was definitely right when he said that the AI needed turning up a bit. 
But it was a pretty close fight last time out. And that was AI, uh, AI 105. So the AI is now only, now only at 107. So I didn't want to turn them up too much. But I'm definitely thinking 110 for the next race. Which isn't going to be on this stream. Because after this race, we're going to jump straight into the Formula V car. And we're going to go and do a, a race over there. And then I'm probably going to call it a day after that. Behind is now 9 It's getting pretty late. It's ten past eleven here, local time. Quickest at the moment. That lap was at one thirteen point zero zero. Your times are good in all three sectors. And the next round of the truck series is until the next month in racing life. So I need to I need to do this month's commitments first, and that includes that Formula V race. Wow, minus nine in Canada. I don't think I've ever actually experienced minus nine. Even when I lived back in the UK, because I was living in Manchester, it wouldn't normally get that cold. It'd just rain most of the time, usually. Oh, missed my breaking point there. Got away with it though. But Canada is a place that I've definitely wanted to go and visit. All right, Dan, you've got half your fuel left. We're quickest right now. You've just done a 113.26. Sector three is 1.1 seconds off the pace. Just something about it just looks so appealing. Like a big Canadian road trip through the forests. Go and stay in a log cabin somewhere. Nice fire. Get chased by a bear. Have some beaver tails, some poutine, some timbits. Maybe end up in Montreal in a few months' time for a Grand Prix. Oh, I don't know, just... I'd love to go to Canada one day. <laughs> Thank you for that um, picture, Dad. The quickest right now. Your last lap time was at getting the hang of this now it is all about getting it slowed down getting it turned and then just pointing it out of the corner no trail braking no cornering speed it's literally just breaking a straight line get the rear swing in and then fire it out it's like Tobias said it's like a Corvette Greenwood without any of the speed Next lap is going to be the last lap. Yep, this lap is now the last lap. lap. Keep it together. We'll win this. We're setting the pace. That lap was at 112, Just goes to show, last time out, the AI was absolutely neck and neck with me. And now they're like two seconds a lap slower. It's like they've just dropped off completely in terms of pace. That's very disappointing. And they're actually at a higher difficulty setting as well. Very confusing. Even on the same car-track combo, 
the AI differs in Automobile Lister 2. It's so inconsistent. A bit wide there. Well, I mean, this is probably going to be Bulk Brogan's least exciting win. But a win is a win. And across the line. Fantastic drive. By 15 seconds at the end of the race there. Wow, that was. You know, you, you can say, like, it kind of made it look easy there. Um, and usually I like to say, no, no, I concentrated. That was a lot of concentration. Th that that was actually genuinely easy. So even with the AI turned up compared to the exactly the same car track combo that I just did, it they just dropped off. So something's different. I don't understand what. It's very confusing, guys. And I know that less than expert, you make a very good point that is, isn't this just one of the core problems of Automobilist 2? Uh, yeah, but you'd think that maybe having exactly the same scenario run again that we just did, they'd kind of do the same lap times. But it's like as soon as I dropped, as soon as I dropped them behind, they never caught up. They actually got slower. So I don't know if there's some kind of adaptive AI going on here that once you get a position, they drop back. Um, possibly, Andre, they could adapt with the championship. Alright, can I get some beer emojis in chat? Because obviously Sticky is having a beer right now. And um, if I had a beer, I would cheers you as well. Anyway, let's skip the cooldown lap and let's bring it back. Or not. I, uh... My driver just keeps going around the track. Cheers, Sticky. Cheers, mate. So the World Series is off to a rather good start, I would say. So we got one race in. We started on pole, fastest lap, and the win. And we are now leading the championship. So if we go back over to Racing Life, let's put these results in then, shall we? So our dashboard... Uh, 22 fame, yes, okay, right, so let's advance, and let's put in the round one of the FIA Super Truck. So, first, first, let's see what we get. Okay, 0 0.6 fame earned, and $2,700 of sponsor money. So, yeah, there we go, that's where we're at. <laughs> Boggy, I like it, I like that a lot, actually. You're going to get rusty from the inside. I've never heard that one before. Well, that does confirm the, uh, the theory that's been going around and the rumours have been going around that Bulk Brogan is actually made from aluminium. Not of the stainless variety either. <laughs> okay, so. Let's have a look and see where we're at. In terms of competition, we do not have any of the series that we can register for because our fame is 23. And the NASCAR series is 25. Right. European NASCAR series. Have a look at this. Okay. NASCAR series. It says NASCAR there, right? It uses the stock car 22 car. Look at where it's racing. Monaco. <laughs> oh no, no, aluminum is American, which is an easy mistake to make because you might think the book Brogan is American. He's not. He's, he's Australian. He's Australian. Anyway, back to the point. We can't register for that series because we haven't got enough fame. There's no point where well, we can't register for ADAC GT or IMSA GT3 because we haven't got enough fame. And there's no point registering for the other series because we'll... It, it, w it wouldn't actually benefit our career at all anyway. So that's no good. We're not going to... We're not going to register for those. Um, yeah. So the only thing we've got left to do this month is 
Termas to Rio Honda in the Formula V cars. So, I reckon we should go and continue that. I think we should go and continue that. So, Formula V World Championship. Anyway, let's go back to Automobilist 2. Let's continue out of this one, shall we? Yes, there we go. And I think this might be our last race of the stream because I am feeling tired. I know there's only been a couple of races today, uh, but I did have to start it a little bit later than usual, unfortunately, just because uh, just of real life things going on. So I think I'm going to do this one race. If we get through it quickly, I'll advance the month. I'll check out the sponsor because actually, let me check how long I've got left on my sponsor deal. Two races. Okay, so we've got this race and one more. So we don't have to worry about a sponsor today. That's fine. But we do have this one race to get done in the Formula V World Championship. So if we go back in Automobilist 2. Um, <laughs> potato. <laughs> uh, Bulk does have a real life and it's even more secretive than his racing life. So if we go to Championship, we go to Formula V, we can see that we are going to Argentina, which this circuit I raced in the Copa FLs. And I can't remember what AI setting I had. I think it was 105 for the Formula Vs. I can't remember. Was it 110? I don't know if anybody's got this in chat. I'm going to stick it at 110. Because it's Formula V, and I tend to do all right in Formula V. So qualifying is 10 minutes, and race is 15. Ah, but you don't see what happens in the paddock, less than expert, to be honest with you. <laughs> you see you see the track, uh, you see the racing, you see the in-car view. The paddock is a whole different story, my friend. All right, so Formula V, let's remind ourselves of where we are. We are two races into this championship. We've raced at Adelaide and we've raced at Santa Cruz do Sol. Now, that Santa Cruz do Sol was an incredible race. That was lights to flag battling for the lead and I can't remember if we won it or not. Adelaide, not so much. Um, I don't think we finished on the podium there, but basically we are on... 45 points the leader is on 53 the wins and the podiums are spread out pretty evenly however it's a very close fight so let's get stuck into it yeah i've raced this circuit in the copa fl series before it's, if I remember correctly, it's like a MotoGP circuit. It's got some nice elevation changes. It's nice and wide. It's probably more suited to the Formula V than it is suited to a Copa FL. Now let's edit the setup. That's our fuel. That's our steering lock. That's our brake bias. Yep, we're good. All right, let's get stuck in and let's drive. Now this is going to feel completely different. Oh, I love when you turn the car on. You can feel the vibration in the steering wheel. That never gets old. Uh, that is a very good point you raised there, Potato. Isn't every, su uh, every, every circuit <clears throat> more suited to Formula V than Copa FL? I would argue Bathurst. Looks like you're clear on the pit exit. Okay, Dan, we've got nine minutes to do the business. We need to get some heat into these brakes. Cold tires all around. Bathurst raced incredibly well. In the Copa FLs at the week, um, at the start of the week. Now, one of the things about the Formula V is that you literally only really need third and fourth gear for most of these corners. The rear does like to slide out a lot. <laughs> Same braking distances. True there. Just trying to remember which way the circuit goes here. I think it's a right... 
helping. That's it, right hairpin. Nice and slidey. Progressive to the left. And then it's kind of a weird late apexy kind of corner where it, it's an in increasing radius. So it's tight to start, so increasing radius, not decreasing radius. It's tricky to get the hang of. And then this always catches you off guard. It's so easy to get an off track on the right hand side here. Because it cuts back in. It's so easy to get an off track on the inside as well, apparently. I know it's a massive straight, isn't it? This is the, okay, this is the decreasing radius corner. This one just keeps on getting tighter and tighter and tighter. And I think this is the late apex one. It's quite a reasonably fast first corner here. I've got a feeling I'm going to be quite off the pace because that car ahead is dropping me here. I'm not keeping up with them too well. I think I'm not really catching that many apexes. And surprisingly very little Christmas prep, Stickman. The little kiddo, she's not really old enough to appreciate it yet, so uh, most Christmas stuff would be lost on her, I think. Next year, it's probably going to be quite a busy Christmas, I'd say. Not, not much to report at all, really. It's been a pretty quiet one this year. Feels like Christmas has really kind of scaled down this year. Not many people are doing decorations, you know. There's not much spirit around, I'd say. And Christmas just doesn't feel like Christmas in Australia. Because there's no snow, it's not cold, it's not dark, there's no... You know, it just doesn't have that winter feeling to it, mate. It's weird. Maybe because I grew up with cold Christmases in the UK and now I've since moved to Australia. It just feels like... Five minutes remaining. Five minutes left. It just feels, um... It just doesn't... Yeah. It just doesn't feel like Christmas, hey? Alright, so leaders are doing 211s. I'm doing 216s, 215s. Wow. Miles off the pace here. But now I'm getting familiar with the circuit again, getting it dialed in. It's going to be a tough old race, this, I think. The guy ahead has just posted a 215.00. barely touched the grass then. I thought I was going to get away with that. Just one little touch of the grass and round it goes. Jeez, okay, got to keep that in mind for the race. Goodness. This does give me someone I can uh, follow in the braking zones now. I'm very surprised at how easily that went round. 
Wow. Okay. They're absolutely smoking me through the slow speed stuff here. Only got three minutes left of this practice session. Wow, okay, I've got that line all wrong. <laughs> laughing gravy. Pesky grass indeed, mate. Right. This is actually going to be my last lap of the session now. Currently in 19th out of 20. P19. Your brake temps are good. Just two minutes left. Two minutes to go. So I'm actually going to go quiet. I'm actually going to concentrate for this the infamous quiet lap. Books got it as well now, it's spreading. Sector one is zero point two eight off the pace. Car right. Still there. Line. Still there. Hold your line. Clear to the right. One point six seconds up. This is only gonna get me one more spot on the grid. Wow, yeah, I've not got the pace right now. Maybe the AI being at one ten wasn't the best idea. All right. We're right. Sector two's two tenths off the pace. On your lap. We're lap. Hey, it's a bias. Good to see it. Little lift through here. This is going to be two point five seconds up. Better, might get me a few spots on the grid. Left side. Blur to the left. Right side. Still there. Hold your line. Clear right. Oh, there we go. Managed to jump up to eighth. Even with that massive sideways moment, I was at 2 minutes 12.8 and the leader was on a 2.11.4. Wow, that's a bit of a pace difference. That is slightly concerning. So, Hector Aguera on pole on a 2.11.4 and we got some... Car left. Still there. 2.11.5s. And then, actually, 212 flat, 212, 2, 212, 3, 3, 3. So, if I can find half a second, that can put me in the top five, just about. And I think now that I'm going to be racing with other people on the same track at the same time, that's going to really help with my reference points, my braking, and my, you know, getting used to where to race on the track. And this is a 15 minute race. Not a 10 minute race. I forgot I set these up as 15 minutes. So let's continue. Now let's see. That's the end of the session. Eighth place. Oh, it's hazy. 15 minutes. You really need to get on with it. It's not wet. It's not moist. It's not damp. It is dry. But it is quite hazy here at Termas de Rio Hondo in Argentina. Starting in eighth position. So let's check the setup. Got 12 laps. That's more than enough fuel. That's fine. And everything else is good to go in the car. Alright then. 
not much more to say apart from let's just get stuck straight into it then. Thank you for watching the stream so far. I hope you've been enjoying it. If you have, don't forget to leave it a like. Say hi in chat. Um, I can actually read your chat messages now. I've got a temporary solution fixed. And if you like what you see, maybe subscribe because this quite possibly will be my last race of the stream. If you want to see more, subscribe, notifications, and it'll come up when the next Racing Life, along with all of the other stuff on the channel, is. Enough shill. Let's drive. Okay, now get ready. <laughs> Darius. Green, green, green. Hopefully zero, Darius. Left side. Oh, you're in the middle. Right side. Clear to the right. Did I turn all around on your right? Uh, well, okay. There's definitely going to be one restart. Did I turn across on that guy then, or did I just get whacked by the AI? Your suspension's going to need sorting. You'll need to come in. I'm just going to. I'm going to check that. Did I turn across on him? This is the replay, by the way. Let's have a look at the steering wheel. Oh, that's what it was. It was a three wide, and the air on the left turned into me. Right. Okay. I get it. I get it, right. So that is definitely going to be a restart because that was not my fault at all. He ate 15 minutes. You'll need to get on with this. <laughs> Sticky. All right, let's try again. I'm going to minutes. keep You'll it a bit more to the right here. Green, green, green. Steering wheel was still rotated to the right. I'll wear that. On your left. Two left, three wide. Left side. Clear left, on your left. Far left. Clear left. Now, if these Formula Vs are anything to go by, based on the previous races this season, this is going to be pretty close. Right side. It's going to drift it to the outside here. A decent run on the ones ahead. Need a bit of slipstream there. Look at them. Three wide, four wide of the... Hold your line. Hold your line. He's still there. Still there. Keep it steady. Got him around the outside. Up to seventh. There's not going to be many laps here today. Maybe seven. Far right. Clear to the right. Slow in, fast out. This is going to be my... This is definitely my worst corner on the circuit here. Just never able to seem to get this one right. Lots of sliding. Bit of a lift. Keep it nice and tight. And get the power out. There's the battle for six up there. Looks like the leader's kind of running away with it a bit there. So much sideways. I don't know if this is just an Automobilista 2 thing, or if this is what Formula V is genuine, genuinely like. But there's a lot of opposite lock and corrections going on here. Almost feels like rally. I mean, it's quite satisfying, but I don't know how legit it is. Oh, a bit of a lock up there. On your left. Still there. Still there. Clear left. Need to maintain this run on the straight and 1.1 seconds back. One point four seconds back. Um I'll sort that out after the stream. Potato. Right 
right side. Clear right, you're clear. Hey, you figured it out. Alright, so 11 minutes left in the race, stuck in 7th, they're all fighting up ahead, I just want to get a little bit closer, I want to get stuck into that fight. Oh, that was track limits. That was track limits, that's a bit extreme, because you know, I can run it wide on the outside, but I just can't even sniff the curb on the inside. Slidey. It's a better lap though. The leader has just done a 212.60, seventh position. The guy behind has just done a 211.68. On your right, clear right. Only four tenths off the leader. That's encouraging. I just need to get a bit closer and get in that fight. Throw a cat amongst the pigeons. Don't break too late for this one, Ben. You broke late every lap so far. You've missed your chances. And now it's Car too one. much speed. Hold your line. Keep it steady. The guy on the outside's got to run. Clear left. I should hold him off though. That's ten minutes left. Okay, down. Hey, Chiba. Sure Good up. to see you. 1.8 seconds to the road. The cars at the road. Let's move it over to the left for the ideal turning point. Wow, that's just ridiculous in terms of opposite lock there. These are so slidey. Well, they are within a second of the car ahead now. Got Wallace behind, might have to defend a bit here. Car right. Car right. Clear right. That was a weird one. Slow in, fast out. Keep I just missed the apex and they sent it from a mile back. On your left, clear left. They seem to have a lot more grip through that corner. But then I've got heaps more grip right. through this corner. It's very consistent right. around the lap, the AI here. Clear to the right. That's the stuff, we'll have some more of that. Left side. Still there. Clear left. The lap time was 2.13.15. That's your fastest lap. Sorry for the lack of commentary, this is uh, taking a lot of concentration, wow. It's so different having just driven the truck, getting thrown out of the truck straight into this. Don't hit the grass, don't hit the grass on the outside, there we go, that's better. Up on my delta by a tenth so far, but still two seconds behind the cars up ahead. Ah, oh, they're four wide! Four wide for the lead of the race, surely this is going to slow them all down. That's a better exit. Yeah, this does feel a bit too slidey, Sim Racer's arms. I mean, I shouldn't be able to get away with these kind of steering inputs, that's for sure. Just 
need to be a bit closer to those guys. Just a bit closer and I could be in that fight. Six minutes remaining. That's ridiculous. That You shouldn't be able to go half a second quicker in a corner by doing that. Three all the way there. Has just done a 211.85. That was a 213.00. Good luck. That's your quickest today. Right side. Clear right. I'm holding up a few cars behind as well, though. It definitely feels like I'm a cork in a bottle right now. What a send from the AI. Keep it steady. Hold your line. Right side. Clear right. Okay. Slipstream time. Still there. Clear left. Yeah, it's a massive handful, Great move. Darius. But, I mean, it's not like I'm losing control of the car. It's like controlled sliding you know it's it's not slow to go sideways like this car right clear right all right down five minutes to go five minutes left all right well we're not Stay really left. making any progress apex here apex is in exits doesn't matter how hard the ai fight up ahead they're all nose to tail and they're just not slowing each other down and the guys behind Out on the dirty stuff on the right on there. Line. Clear right, you're clear. On your right. Clear to the right. And that wasn't the cut track. Wow. Incredible stuff. Yeah, it's a very lonely race. This is definitely highlighting an issue with the AI here. Everybody just splits off into packs. Oh, I can't change the brake bias in the car. Abram, hey, fortunately. Push now. The guy behind is catching. It's not adjustable in car. It has to be done from the car setup menu, unfortunately. But that, that's definitely something I would have tried. Just need a bit more pace, you know? If I could, if I could get like a second a lap on the AI here... I could be in that fight, but I just dropped back too far, and I can't catch them. And now the guys behind have dropped back. I'm going to pull out, pull away from them as well. Oh, this is good though, because I can kind of focus on my own lines now. Perhaps 105 AI or 107 AI would have been a better choice. Because this, yeah, this, this is a bit, a bit wonky, like you say, Tobias. Also, the fact I'm not, like, overly familiar with the circuit either. Probably doesn't help. Especially throwing stupid shapes like that around the circuit. My goodness, what kind of a corner was that? To go for two minutes. Okay, so next lap is definitely going to be the last lap. This is a very lonely seventh position. No, it's not a lonely seventh position. You've used half your fuel. <laughs> I 
and that's last position. I think that's kind of indicative of this race. This isn't this isn't worth a restart, guys. I, I'm not doing this 15 minutes race nice. again. One more lap to, go. Uh, to be honest with you, I'm not. I'm not enjoying this at all. I'm really not enjoying this at all. I'm not sure if reason I've changed the Formula V recently. But it's... Mm, maybe it just doesn't suit this circuit. very flat in terms of cambers. That is true to bias. It just slides out towards the exit very pathetically. But um, I think this would be a good circuit for cars that have got more grip, you know. Yeah, this is going to be 20th and last. At least I got an 8th place on the grid, right? That should get me something. Oh, well, this is not going to do my championship any. Wow, that's weird. Okay, Dan, this is so get back into weird the handling. That's twice it's done that now. It's like it goes from this slide... It feels like it's going to slide forever. It's just like, constantly like, yeah, you can drift this thing as much as you like. And then all of a sudden, it just grip. Once it gets to a certain angle, it just grips up. Uh, I'm running it on default setup, by the way, guys. It's these awkward corners, like descending radius. You've got to brake and turn. And as soon as you do that, the rear of the car steps out. It's, it's really not nice. That is, that is, that's not a nice combo at all. I was saying that the... Uh, okay, it's over. Bloody awful result, mate. Yeah, I, 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 hmm, spot is not wrong there. I was saying that the Formula V is probably a better car than the Copa FL around here. I actually take that back. The Copa FL was significantly better around here. Or was it the hot cars? No, it was hot cars. That was a lot better around here. And I'm sure this is a very nice circuit, but this combo is atrocious. Really is. Ugh. Well, that result counts. As much as I hate to say that, that result does count. Um, if the AI was a little bit better... ...in terms of difficulty... I mean, look, they're doing 2.11.7s, 2.12 flats, 2.11.6s. My best lap of the race was a 2.12.9. There's only one person in the race had a lap time that was slower than me, so it's definitely an AI difficulty issue. I reckon I should definitely have run that race on a lower setting. So let's go and have a look in racing life then, shall we? And uh, let's basically just... Let's just... Write this result off. <laughs> what a waste of a race. Uh, Formula V World Championship qualification result was 8. Race result was 20. Finish. Oh, 0 0.08 fame. And $825. I actually didn't get my uh, Aral bonus. Because they, they only pay me for top 10 finishes. So that was not great. So now more results from Racing Life. Let's go back and have a look at the points and the standings in Automobile Listed 2. So, I mean, I got one point. One solitary point, but then the leaders are running away with it a little bit there. So let's have a look at the standings. I was in... Fourth? Was I fourth or third? I was third. Fourth or third in the standings. I'm now down in sixth. So I'm on 46 points here. Falling back a little bit, to be honest with you. Hmm. Not great. Not great. Not great at all. Well, that was a, a write-off of a race. I'm sorry about that, guys. 
that that had the potential to be so much better and it just really wasn't uh so in terms of the dashboard yeah our championships championships gone Darius for this one to be honest with you unless I can get some significant results I've only got two races left to go uh three races left to go actually I've got out of drama Yao Kocha, which is much nicer Guapo which is have I raced those somewhere else? I think I may have raced here before in another circuit. I can't remember it. Uh, Nürburgring Sprint as well. Yeah, as is evident from the previous races, the AI is incredibly hit and miss, Colin. It's... I don't know. I'm going to turn it down to 105. But it is very bleh in terms of AI good, AI not good. I mean, th this is as good as racing life is and racing life is absolutely superb it can only work with the platform that it's given so if you had if you give it a platform where the ai is inconsistent and one setting that may work for one race you go and go straight into the next race and you're like a second off the pace yeah although i think i was definitely overdriving that car or there was some kind of setup issue with the default it just it just didn't the car and the track just never felt good at all. Anyway, that's that's just racing. That happens. You have bad results, and you know people who finish on the podium then finish dead last in the next race because they have spins and stuff. So this is what happens. This is what happens, guys. But in terms of racing life, let's have a look at our dashboard. Uh, everything's under control. There's no other races we can register for. So if we advance, yep, we've got all of our. All of our races done in August 23. Uh, let's have a look at the garage. We've got the truck. We've got the Formula V. We are using both of these cars currently. So that's fine. There's nothing else we need to take care of, really. Sponsors. We've got one race. One race left with my sponsor. But we're not going to worry about that today. So if we go to dashboard and advance, let's go into September. So we've now paid our leases on these cars. And let's have a look at the competition. Rafael Torres, how are you, mate? Okay, so in September 2023, which is the year and the month that we're in, we have two Formula V races and one Super Truck race. So Formula V races are at Autodromo Yao Kocha, which is Ibarra, which is superb. I love that circuit. We've had some, we've had some good times there. And then we've also got Formula V at Guapo, which I'm pretty sure I've raced here, but I can't remember it. I'm pretty sure I've raced at this circuit before, but I just can't remember it. Because I, I remember thinking, how the hell do I pronounce that circuit? But I just can't, I just can't picture it in my head, but I'm pretty sure I've raced here. Um, and then in the terms of the truck series, we have the FAA Super Truck Stage 2, which is at Hockenheim Short B. Hmm. Yeah, I, I really can't remember that circuit, but one way to find out is to go to Driver History. And where, what car did I race here? Maybe that'll bring it back. Formula V World Championship. No, was it American Formula V? Was it Copa FL or Hot Cars? I can't remember. It's not coming up on my driver history, Ricardo. Unless I'm missing something obvious here. Yeah, I'm sure I raced here. It's it's very familiar, but I don't know why. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to call it a day because it is now midnight here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna cue the music. Ah, there we go. And I'm gonna call this stream a day. So we're not gonna worry 
about these next two races, the two Formula V races and the FIA Super Truck Championship. We're not going to worry about them today because, uh, well, I mean, the next one, we'll, 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 we'll do them next stream. And then after that, is there anything else you want to register? No, I don't think so. Maybe the Mitsubishi Cup, but we could do that in 2024. Uh, and then we've got the finale of that, and then that, and then we've got GT4 series. We'll just play it by ear. But I think for the next few streams, and maybe even to the end of the season, I think... I think next time out, yeah, we, we're gonna... We're gonna just keep going with these two championships until the end of the season. So next time, we've got two Formula V races and a truck race. And then, okay, so three Formula V races, two truck races. That's five races. Depending on when book, uh, book Brogan streams next, maybe we could do like an earlier stream or, I don't know, I could stay up later with a coffee over the Christmas break. I don't know. But the next stream is probably going to feature three or four or five races, I'd say. We'll take it from there and we'll see how we go. And hopefully not as many restarts in those ones. Right then, Colin, thank you. That is a good reminder. So I'm actually going to set that now. 105. So the 105 in the dry. There we go. Done. Thank you, Laughing Gravy. Thank you, Ricardo. Reboot PC for better. Does that work? Does that work, Tobias? If you reboot the PC, do you get better AI? Sounds a bit sus to me, to be honest with you. Oh, I will do, Boggy. Vushal. <laughs> Kevin. Colin. JDF. Oh, no worries. No worries, JDF. I'm, I'm happy that I could have brightened up your day. Um, and pass on my best wishes to, to Mum as well, and I hope you're doing all right. And all of the family uh, will have a nice Skype over Christmas very, very soon. And, um... Yeah, Tobias. Okay, I get it now. Sorry. Vushal, Ricardo, Kevin, Raphael, everybody. Just thank you. Thank you so much for tuning in, people. Sorry that it wasn't as many races as normal, and sorry that the races weren't of, of, of as good quality as normal. Um, it's just racing. It's just racing life. That's what happens. You can't win them all, and they can't all be Hollywood blockbusters. But I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, it's not too late to stream a like. In terms of other stuff coming up on the channel i may be back next week it just depends on the schedule for doing this kind of thing but i'm definitely doing a rally stream on the 30th of december the friday and after that i'm going to be hosting an open track in race room at the Norchlifer. any car goes um i don't know if i'm going to stream it yet but i'm going to have it on discord it's going to be like an end of year community hangout anybody's welcome bring any car you want and let's just go driving and let's just have a bit of fun let's just have a chat and let's just see the year out so if you want to be interested in that if that, that sounds like something you could do check out the discord server i'll be around directly after the rally stream on the 30th of december but that is going to be after christmas and i'm not streaming before christmas so to everybody in chat I hope you have a great Christmas, if that's your thing. If not, then I hope you have a great time, whatever else it is you're doing. And look after yourselves, spend time with your family, and just enjoy it. Seriously, enjoy it. Bulk says, what more do you need? You don't need any, any, you, just don't argue. <coughs> Bulk said, have a good Christmas. All right, guys, you look after yourselves. And I'll see you all again soon. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.